In The Creation of and Bullen, a new look at England's most notorious queen, Susan Bordeaux presents a fresh perspective on the life and legacy of Anne Bullen, challenging the conventional narratives that have shaped our understanding of this historical figure. Bordeaux delves into the complex web of political, cultural, and gender dynamics that played a significant role in the creation of Anne Bullen's image and reputation. One of the central arguments put forth by Bordeaux is that Anne Bullen was an active participant in the construction of her own identity. Bordeaux argues that Anne defied societal norms and expectations for women of her time by actively engaging in intellectual pursuits, expressing her opinions, and manipulating her public image. Through an in-depth analysis of historical records and primary sources, Bordeaux demonstrates that and was not simply a passive victim of circumstance but rather a shrewd and astute individual who carefully curated her public persona. Furthermore, Bordeaux explores the role of gender and sexuality in shaping and Bullen's image. She challenges the notion that Anne was solely responsible for the downfall of King Henry VIII's first marriage and the subsequent break with the Catholic Church. Bordeaux argues that the perception of Anne as a seductress and temptress was a deliberate construction by her enemies, who sought to discredit her and undermine her influence. By examining the cultural anxieties surrounding female power and agency in Tudor England, Bordeaux offers a nuanced interpretation of Anne's role in the political and religious upheavals of the time. Bordeaux also examines the enduring fascination with Anne Bullen and the ways in which her image has been appropriated and reinterpreted over the centuries. From her portrayal in contemporary plays and literature to her depiction in film and television, Bordeaux demonstrates how Anne's character has been shaped and reshaped to fit the prevailing cultural and social narratives of each era. Through this analysis, Bordeaux underscores the importance of understanding Anne Bullen as a historical figure who was subject to multiple layers of interpretation and mythmaking. The strength of Bordeaux's analysis lies in her meticulous research and her ability to situate and Bullen within the broader historical and cultural context of her time. By examining the political and religious landscape of Tudor England, as well as the social expectations placed on women, Bordeaux offers a comprehensive understanding of the forces that shaped Anne's life and ultimately led to her tragic fate. The creation of Anne Bullen challenges readers to critically reevaluate their preconceived notions about this iconic queen. Bordeaux's engaging prose and insightful analysis make this book a valuable contribution to the field of Tudor history and gender studies. By shedding new light on Anne Bullen's life and the complex dynamics at play during her time, Bordeaux invites readers to reconsider the historical figures they think they know and to question the narratives that have been constructed around them. In conclusion, Susan Bordeaux's The Creation of Anne Bullen, a new look at England's most notorious queen, presents a compelling and thought-provoking analysis of one of history's most captivating figures. Through her meticulous research and nuanced interpretation, Bordeaux challenges long-held assumptions about Anne Bullen, offering readers a fresh perspective on this complex woman and the forces that shaped her life and legacy.